This video shows how to set up port forwarding on a Technicolor version of the Telstra Smart Modem. Normally all incoming traffic originating from remote sites is blocked by the modem. Because of this, servers hosted on the local network cannot be accessed from remote sites. To overcome this problem, the device hosting the server can either be placed in the DMZ of the modem, which is dangerous as all incoming traffic will be directed to the device, or a port forwarding rule can be set up in the modem, which is safer as it only allows incoming traffic on a certain port or ports to reach the device. To set up port forwarding, first log into the modem by opening a web browser and going to http colon forward slash forward slash 192.18.01 password is Telstra capital P sign in before setting up port forwarding or DMZ first have to set up a static IP address the device you want to port forward to set up a static IP address go to advanced go to local network Go to add new static lease, give it a name, you can either select from the list of connected devices or if your device is not listed you can add a custom MAC address, my address is listed, enter the IP address of the device, it doesn't have to be the same as the existing IP address, you can add a new IP address as long as it's within modem's address range and tap on add. Once static IP address has been added close the dialog box and go to basic view. Go to services and go to port forwarding. Scroll down to the bottom of the page. If you add a predefined port, port and the protocol are automatically entered. What you need to do is enter the IP address of the device. I will be adding a custom port so Tap on add new port mapping, enter a name for the device, select the protocol, if you don't know which protocol to use, use TCP forward slash UDP, to the port, use the same port for both WAN and LAN, you have a range of ports, the first port, colon, last port, for example to enter a range of ports from 8085 to 8087 to 8085 colon 8087 only need one port so leave it as 8085 enter the IP address of the device Select add the device has been added to the table to test the port do you see me to the port and do a check If the port is closed, you get an error message. Let's see the port. The port is open. When you do a check, you'll see success. An error as shown the port is closed. First check that your IP is displayed here is the same as the IP4 address in the broadband settings of the modem. If it's different, then the problem is due to double NAT. Double NAT can be caused by either carrier grade NAT or due to the fact that the Telstra modem is placed behind another modem or router. The only solution to carrier grade NAT is to change ISPs. Double NAT due to the Telstra modem behind another modem or, or router can be fixed by either removing the primary modem router and connecting the Telstra modem directly to the internet source or by setting the Telstra modem in the DMZ of the primary modem or by bridging the primary modem. If the IP4 address is the same then the problem is probably due to the port on the device not being open. Check if the port is open on the device. Install the Thing app. The Thing app is available free in the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. Once the app is installed, open the app, go to find open ports, go to settings and check that your port is one of the ports that is defined. If your the port you want to test is not among the defined ports, add it by hitting the plus.
plus icon at the top part of the screen. Enter the port. Give it a name. Go back into the IP address of the device. Tap on Find Open Ports. The port is open, it will display the port. The port is closed, and you do a test. No ports will be displayed. If the port is closed, check the settings on your device. Most of the problems with trying to port forward to a Windows device are due to the firewall blocking the ports. To check Windows firewall settings are correct, open Defender, go to Firewall and Network Protection, go to Advanced Settings, go to Inbound Rules, tap on Local Port to sort rules by port. No rule exists for your port, select New Rule, select Port as the type and select Next. Select the protocol, enter the port and select Next. Select and load the connection and then select next. Make sure domain and private are selected, but public is deselected. Select next. Enter a name and select finish. Hope you have benefited from this video.